Ric Flair returns to TV. Uh, he has an interview with Mean Gene, calls out Terry Funk, program starts between the two of them. He was last seen months before literally being buried in the desert by the filthy animals. Okay, we get to talk about the desert here, Vince. Um, <clears throat> Give me the whole thought. Process. I'll give you. I'll give you the whole thought because you know th th this. Th this pisses me off more than anybody. Okay, I'm watching WCW before I became a part of WCW because it was in my mind that I want. I wanted to leave the WWF. Okay, and so now wanting to leave the WWF, I'm watching the product. Okay. The guys, who, whoever was booking WCW at the time, and I'm not even going to say it was because I wasn't there. I, I don't know who was booking it. I don't know who were coming up with, with these ideas. Those guys were making two legends that I grew up with. They were, make, they, they were embarrassing them on TV. I, I was embarrassed watching Hulk Hogan and watching Ric Flair with the way they were being booked before I came in. They looked like... 90-year-old men that couldn't move. They look like former shelves of them, uh, shells of themselves. They weren't being protected at all. And, 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 and it was embarrassing for me that these two legends were now being portrayed on television like this. And, and I think one, if you go back and look, I think right before I came in, they may, they may have had a match against each other that I watched and it was freaking embarrassing. Embarrassing. And I remember sitting home and saying, Sh shame on whoever is booking that match, that you're not freaking protecting these two guys from looking old, okay? So I knew when I went to WCW, the very first thing I had to do was find a reason to put Rick on the shelf, find the reason to put Hulk on the shelf for a minimum, a, a minimum, a, a maximum of three months so we can bring them back, repackage them the right way, and put, put, put them in the proper respectful spot. Okay. That was the game plan because I was embarrassed for the way they were being portrayed. So that was the plan. The plan was let's get Rick, do the job, leave him out in the desert. Let's do the you know the same way. I, I don't remember what the plan was to, to for Hogan to exit at the time. You, I'll probably remember once you tell me this. But that was a plan. Let's get get these guys. Oh, l l let's forget everything that happened. What we saw the last six months. Let's get them off. Let's come up with a creative way to bring them back in the right role that they should be in at this point in their careers. So so in other words, I was trying to protect both Hulk and both. Rick, because of their egos and not understanding what I was trying to do for them because they were no longer in the spotlight and because they were no longer the main events that they still wanted to be, despite how they looked, I had to go. But the, but the desert specifically, what's the genesis of that idea? What is it met with when you first pitch it? It wasn't, um, fr from what I can remember, and again, a long time course, ago, there was no, I'm not going to do this. There was no, I don't like this. I know Rick went along with the, with, with, with the plan and did it. You know, again, it was like, okay, let's, let's find a way to shelf him. If we can get the filthy animals over in the process, if we can give this to them to help build this group, then let's give it to them.